Hi guys and welcome to Investor's Guide to the Galaxy. It's your host Alex Ionescu. The Wanderer Volkswagen plans a fully electric tiny house on wheels. Tesla co-founder JB Straubel, Redwood Materials, Inc.'s recycling deal with Volkswagen. 2024 Volkswagen ID Aero stocked in traffic. Volkswagen is aiming to roll out full autonomous vehicles in 2025. Let's dive right into it. Volkswagen stock price in July 22nd is down 1%. Year to date is down 25%. Past year is down 35%. Past five years is up almost 2% with a PE ratio, price to earnings ratio of only 3.71 and a dividend yield of 5.63% market cap of only 82 billion euros. Volkswagen is working on a new vehicle concept for holiday makers, dropouts and nature lovers. The Wanderer is a noble tiny house on wheels. The purely electrically powered vehicle from Volkswagen Research is also to be stylistically more modern than classic caravans and will not be produced until 2030 at the earliest. As part of the current new auto strategy, the mobile compact house, the Wanderer, is to be realized from 2030. The project originates from the so-called group innovation of the Volkswagen-based company, which recently unveiled its most exciting research projects to the executive board. The Wanderer is a personal favorite of Herbert Dies, Volkswagen CEO, announced on social media. The futuristically design vehicle from group research is a comfortable yet compact house on wheels that takes you autonomously safely comfortably and in style to your most sought after places says this tiny houses have been in vogue for some time the vision of living in small houses that can be set up anywhere in the world no longer inspired only digital nomads now apparently also Germany's largest car manufacturer. The hiker, on the other hand, should prove that it is possible, for example, to end the often template-like arrangement of the windows in a caravan. Instead of comparatively small rectangles for the view outside, Volkswagen Mobile Home Designs offers generous glass sections with sharp angles. Also in terms of air conditioning, heating, solar power and water management, the hiker should function as self-sufficient as possible. The chief designer describes it this way, like a modern houseboat. The wanderer moves on the border between real estate and furniture. Such a milestone is still a long way off for the hiker. If Volkswagen's tiny house on wheels should ever make it into series production, this should take at least another 10 years. Tesla's co-founder J.B. Straubel, Redwood Material, Inc.'s recycling deal with Volkswagen. According to Redwood, it would be working directly with Volkswagen Group of America's network of 1,000 dealers to recover, transport and recycle end-of-life battery packs from Volkswagen and Audi vehicles. The company estimated that it could recover over 95% of high value metals used in the automaker's battery packs such as nickel, cobalt and copper. Thanks to Redwood's innovation, these recovered materials could then be used in the production of new battery anodes and cathodes for manufacturers in the United States. So far, Redwood noted that about 6 gigawatts of lithium-ion batteries already come through its doors annually. This is enough to build battery packs for about 60,000 electric vehicles. Our partnership with Volkswagen Group of America will increase what's available for Redwood to recycle so that we can make even more sustainable and affordable battery materials. The first autonomous test drive of the ID Buzz was on April 2022. Volkswagen is aiming to roll out autonomous vehicles in 2025. Autonomous driving is part of our growth strategy. 
In 2025, we as Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles aim to roll out fully autonomous mobility here with our ID bus. We are taking big milestones towards uh, autonomous driving and looking forward to have that in Hamburg and in Munich in, in due time. And the aim is large. We want to be safer as a human can be. The areas where you can drive. We are preparing business. So we want to go where the most people need uh, mobility. We want to be part of the public transport system in the future. And we also aim doing some goods business, press services, prepared food and all this kind of stuff. The vehicle itself, uh, ID bus, suits this task well, I would suppose, no? because it is a typical light commercial vehicle where you can transport people and goods. Yeah, the ID bus has several advantages. It is it's super iconic, it's super sympathetic, uh, it's pure electric. And then we are able to serve in Europe kind of an intermediate phase of the right tooling approach. So several customers... So you could mix uh, manual driven buses with automotive. Uh, that, that's the point. We can mix the fleets, we can do some pooling, we can in US do right hailing and we can do some goods transport. So it's a some universal vehicle. When we started this project, we had that in mind. No? And I think uh, uh, it worked out well. Yes. No, we have a vehicle, we are driving, we are in Europe and the US. I'm, I'm happy with the decision we made. 2024, Volkswagen ID Aero stalked in traffic, looking awkward due to deceiving camo. It had misleading Jetta cues and fake exhaust tips. This is the Volkswagen 2022 ID Aero concept. And these are the spy shots. Three SUVs, a hatchback and a minivan. That's what Volkswagen is currently offering for its pure electric ID lineup. A sedan will follow in the second half of 2023, initially in China, but in the meantime, there's still some testing that needs to be done as you can see in the photos. A near production prototype has been stocked roaming on the streets of Germany while wearing some clever camouflage to trick the untrained eye. Thankfully, we know better. The European model will be good for 620 kilometers, 385 miles of range in the WLTP cycle. At the end of the electric lineup, Volkswagen is plotting an entry level EV for 2025 release to replace the e-up and carry a tentative asking price of 20,000 euros. Do you think we will see Volkswagen autonomous ID bus taxis and cargo vans in 2025? What do you think of the Volkswagen Wanderer tiny house on wheels? I'd like to know your opinion on all of this. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so that other people like you see this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you that watch my videos. See you next time.